Hey, Mike Swenson here with the Elite Advantage team, and today we're talking about the process of buying a home. So if you've had questions about uh, what it all entails, want to know more in-depth information, stay tuned here and check it out. Today we're talking about the process of buying a home. So whether it's your first time buying a home or whether you've been through the process before and it's it's maybe been a few years since you've bought your last home, it's good just to review the process so you kind of know what the sequence of events are and you have a good understanding of, of the, the basic steps that you need to, to, to go through the process. So um, as you can see here on the screen, we've got the process laid out. Um, so you can go through step by step and we'll take the time and we'll walk through each step here so that you understand it. Uh, there's a lot to cover and there's a lot of nuance to it. So this, this video certainly doesn't capture everything that you're going to need to know, but at least have the high level, the high level points that you're going to need to understand. So typically first time what happens is you're going to meet with a real estate professional, uh, in this case, somebody with the elite advantage team. And uh, it's good for us to understand, uh, you know, the, the timing, the motivation, what you're looking for, what you want, what you don't want, um, to be able to meet your needs. So um, in a lot of ways, we are a matchmaker, right? Um, and so our job is to match you up with a house that fits for you. So we want to understand what are the things that we need to do, um, what are the, the non-negotiables and what are the negotiables of what you're looking for. And, uh, and then kind of walking through the next steps. So that first meeting is really just to go through that. It's more of a, a Q&A time. Uh, you know, we always say instead of driving around and looking at 15 houses, we'd rather ask you a lot of detailed questions at the beginning so that we could maybe show you five houses and narrow it down. And instead of showing you, you know, maybe 10 homes that really don't fit, let's find the five, five to seven best homes that meet your criteria. So better to spend the time sitting down together talking through that than to be driving around all over the place and wasting a lot of your valuable time. So, um, so that first meeting is really important to help understand those steps. <clears throat> Next up, you're going to meet with a lender most likely to get pre-approved. Unless you're you know, a cash buyer, you already have your financing figured out, you're going to go through the process to get pre-approved. So uh, what that looks like in today's market is they're gonna wanna look at a lot of your financial statements um, to make sure that you can qualify. It used to be in the past a lot of times that some of that stuff was pushed back to later in the process, and what we'd find is maybe there were things that had come up, um, and they actually might prevent you from, from buying a home. So a lot of lenders now on the front end are doing a lot more inspecting of things and checking and going through what's called pre-approval underwriting process. So that way there's a lot less things that are gonna come up later in the process. So um, typically what that means is you're gonna submit you know, pay stubs, W-2s, 1099s, bank statements, and all that stuff to a lender um, so that they can review all that information and, and have a pretty good handle on um, the strength of your ability to be able to, to afford things in a certain price back bracket. Now, the other thing that we want to consider is not only are we looking at a mortgage payment and taxes, but we're also looking at things like homeowners insurance. If you're part of an association, there's going to be some association dues. And so what we strongly want to cover with our buyers is look at that total package cost and not all houses are created equal. So um, if you're pre-approved to a certain price point, and you find a home that's pretty close to the top of that list and it has a homeowners association due on, on top of that, um, that might be a little bit more expensive than what you're willing to take on. So what we don't wanna have happen is have you be house poor and you're in this fantastic new house and everything else is tight financially. So um, so maybe you find a spot where, or you know, it's, it's two houses equal and maybe the taxes is $1,000 a year difference on this one versus this one. So a lot of times people get caught up in what's the price of the home, which is obviously very important, but we also wanna make sure we're looking at the taxes, the association, the insurance, and some of those other costs um, that are also gonna be factored into to what can you, you can afford. Once we get that pre-approval figured out, now it's time to go shop for homes. A lot of times agents these days wanna make sure that we have that, and a lot of the sellers wanna make sure the people coming into their homes can actually afford their home. So, um, so if you've bought a home in the past, um, that pre-approval maybe didn't happen as strongly and as early on in the process as it's happening today. So, uh, 
So next up, like I said, we're, we're going and we're searching for homes. This is the fun part of the process. You get to drive around and see things. And, and like I said, we're gonna ask you quite a few questions on the front end to make sure that we dial in as few houses as possible for you to see because to be honest once you get past you know three four five six houses you kind of forget the positives and the negatives of each so we try to do our best to you know let's find a half dozen homes that really meet what you're looking for and see if one of those top picks is within there so um, and if for some reason you know once you're out looking you you realize something is different than what you thought or maybe you're willing to drive a little bit further than you thought we can obviously show you more than that but but the goal is to get as few houses as possible um, and the reason why you're gonna see those few houses is those are your top picks so the houses you're looking at are gonna be your, your top ones so um, in this case you're gonna be you know we'll schedule things whether it's uh, as soon as something comes on the market if it's a hot property if it's waiting a little bit longer in the process uh, or waiting until the evening or in a weekend where we can stack a lot of these uh, property views together, um, we can certainly do that to, to, to meet your schedule. So, um, so that's usually done in one or two or three kind of chunks of time depending on what your schedule looks like. So, um, so that's the fun part of the process. Once you find the home that you like, um, we're gonna write up an offer. And so in that case, there's a lot of different things that go into an offer that's not just about price. It's the timing of when you can move in. Uh, maybe there's something in the home that you particularly liked that you wanna see if it could be included. Um, what type of financing you have impacts whether or not your offer gets accepted. So there's a lot more to that process. So we're gonna cast you in the best light possible uh, to your sellers and the seller's agents so that our offer is the strongest offer that's out there. The next step then in the process is uh, after you've made the offer is moving to the, ne the negotiation phase. So uh, when you submit your offer to the other agent who's representing the sellers, they can do one of three things. They can either accept it, reject it, or do a counter offer back. And so uh, the counter offer phase, you're going back and forth. You're kind of putting in those last details and coming to terms on those final agreements. So uh, once you've agreed to that, um, now you move on to the under contract phase. So in the under contract phase, essentially, um, now that you're making the assumption that assuming we perform correctly with everything that we've agreed to on both sides, now we're agreeing that we're gonna sell this home at this price at this date. So what that does is it launches into a, a few things that happen. Uh, for a lot of time, a lot of times what happens is you go through an inspection period. And so in that case, the, uh, there's an inspector that comes in, they do a detailed analysis of the home. Uh, they might raise any concerns or any red flags that might come up. Uh, typically it's just major items only, uh, just to make sure there's, there's not something that uh, maybe you as, as kind of the average homeowner didn't see, but an inspector would see. Um, so if anything comes up, you'll, you'll go through uh, potentially another little negotiation phase with the sellers. Um, if this repair needs to happen or uh, if, if a repair happens, who's paying for it? Um, and if, we're, if, if the buyer's paying for it, maybe we negotiate some of the, the sale price down a little bit to cover that cost. Some examples of things that could potentially come up during an inspection, it might be things like roof damage. Uh, maybe there was uh, the roof is too old and there's hail damage. It could be something as simple as, um, you know, bathrooms and kitchens, areas around water don't have uh, the proper outlets. It could be something like windows are leaking, might be something with your AC or HVAC system. So there's a lot of different examples of things that could come up. Um, it just depends obviously on the house and the situation um, that you're buying as to, to what actually needs to get negotiated. Um, and then after that, you move forward. Assuming everything looks good, you're moving on and you're sprinkling in those final details. So um, the final due diligence, the lenders sprinkling in the last details, making sure there's everything looks good, making sure your financial situation hasn't drastically changed um, since the last time you had the pre-approval, um, making sure the appraisal goes through. Um, you know, if for some reason the appraisal didn't come back as high as expected, there might be some additional things we need to figure out. Um, and so that's kind of the, the final piece. And then you're scheduling the closing. So you're all lining up. Everybody that's working on your behalf lines up to that date. Um, ideally, it's the closing date you talked about when you put in your uh, your offer, but sometimes that might change. It might shift up or down a few days depending on how things go and how details have changed. Um, and then you schedule the closing. So at the closing, you all get together. Sometimes uh, there, there might be a pre-sign that happens so both parties aren't there. 
Um, but, uh, but typically at a closing, you guys show up together, you're in the same room, you're signing the documents, and, uh, and, and it's a little bit of a hurry up and wait. You sign everything and then you're waiting. The closing is, uh, the closing coordinator is cutting the checks and, and finalizing everything and submitting it all to the right parties. And, uh, and then typically what happens is after the closing is when you take possession of the home. So you get the keys. Um, you might take a nice closing photo or a closing video um, to celebrate the day. And then from there, you're looking on to, to move into your next home. So um, hopefully that gives you a good overview of the process. Um, on the Elite Advantage team here, our, you know, our goal is we're always going to guide you through those next steps. We're going to answer any questions that you have. Make sure you understand the process. Make sure you feel comfortable with the process. Um, and then we're always going to talk about what happens next, right? So you know what's coming down the line. Uh, you know what to expect because there's a lot to remember. There's a lot of different steps in this process. Um, this is something that we do every day, so we're familiar with it. And yet we know for you, you know, you might move only every five to 10 years or more. And so it's not something that you've gone through. Or if this is your first time buying a home, it's your first time going through this process. So um, make sure that you uh, have any questions, write them down, ask us. We love to educate. We love to help and give you a great client experience so that you feel comfortable and confident um, with what with the process and how you're going through it. So ultimately, you get a home that you love and you're excited to be in for a long time. So uh, don't hesitate to reach out with further questions. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you um, just to understand things at a little bit more detail. Um, but uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.